my name is Norman. I'm presently on trial here. Um, this is my fourth week of trial. Um, the trial is basically a test period where um, the co-op is seeing whether or not you're willing to make a commitment or with willing to do your hours and learn about building and it's also a test for you to see whether or not it's what you want to do. I've come to the end of my trial. I'm looking forward to becoming a member, get my toolkit. Um, yeah, because it seems like it would be a good place. You know, the people are fine so far. So I think it would be a good little community. I'm Steph Dancer of Chisel, and I'd like to say congratulations to Fusions Jermaine, to the first black self-build in London. And also, congratulations to your courage in actually taking on this high-risk thing of building a house. Now, I speak from personal experience, because I'm a, a self-builder too on Green Street, and some of my colleagues are here to help raise the frame today. It's a very difficult thing to do. It's a big investment. You're investing in your time. And I fully support and congratulate you on doing that. But what better example have you got, the people who are building here today, than seeing what's already going to happen this afternoon, the opening of the first self-built black housing co-op in London. And so I'd like to say congratulations. I've noticed on the invitation, and if you'll excuse my pronunciation, big things are gone, <laughs> but with your help, bigger things are gone. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hi, my name's Errol. I joined the scheme in November. Um, looking to build a two-bed house here. <clears throat> There's no one else would give me one. <laughs> I couldn't afford a mortgage. Um, and I like the idea of living with a bunch of black people as well. Um, cheap, I could do my own thing with the house. Um, you know, it's a, a dream come true in some ways. The Seagull system is about posts and beams. I, they are just timber frames that are bolted together on the ground and then lifted in place. The frames are raised up. And then we add all the joists, um, all the walls, the stud partitions, the roof, etc. So the basis is that essentially there is we do away with the conventional brickwork and the conventional <coughs> foundations. It's just like a jigsaw. Every section has a section, and you tie the section in, and then basically the joists, your roof rafters, etc. That ties the whole of the house in. And then once the, the, it's a specialist roof that they're going to have on there, so it'll actually be soil. They'll actually be going on the top, so that's just see grass growing on the top of your roof. All right, that weight of that will actually keep the whole house balanced. And what you have is brace pieces that stop it from, especially if wind blows, going all over the place. Okay, so that's that's basically from the point of view of the actual frames and how they actually go up. All I'm doing right now, as I say, is just setting out so that we keep the frames nice and straight, okay, and square initially, rather than having to guess it. It's all set out for us. It just makes life easier when we come to putting it up. We just got a line to work to. My name's Paul, I'm a self-builder and I've been here since September last year. I'm also a single parent, so I try and get as much time down the side as possible. But I've just got to prepare these leg posts for the lift. Now they've just been cut, we want to preserve the ends, stop the wood from rotting because these are all timber houses, they've got to be treated and looked after during the building process. So yeah, it's more than just building, it's a, it's a family thing really, where we all work together, we all help each other out. And the one good example of that is we have to look after the site. Because there's a lot of timber, and it's very expensive. We have to look after it. So we have to do security every night, which means every member, if they can, has to come down and spend a night on site. Now, me being a single parent, I still have my responsibility to look after the site. So. I'm lucky that I have people who can look after my daughter 
and they look after mine and I look after their children and we all help each other. That's the only way this type of thing can carry on. Fusion Jamin have two projects. Their first project at Broccoli Rise, South East London, is now complete and the self-builders are moving into their new homes. It's actually been running for about three years. How did you get involved? Um, I, actually read, I actually read about it in the South London press. Um, I rang up and they sent me some details and... Bingo, here well, I am. Why did you decide to build your own house? Because the council, well I've got a son as you can see and he's like nearly three. Um, I asked the council for transfers and they wouldn't transfer me because I'm actually living in a one bedroom flat right now. Um, no central heating. And, um, the council just wouldn't move me and they won't come and do the repairs either. My son's asthmatic. He's been in hospital about three times through the dampness and everything. So this was seemed like my only way out and here I am. Have you ever been before? None whatsoever. So you came here? A novice. A novice? Yeah. And over the time since you've been building, mm. you've developed a lot of skills? Um, well, I've learned a lot. Yeah, I'd say I've learned a lot. I mean, I've learned certain carpentry and tiling and, you know, I've picked up lots of bits and pieces. I mean, things, plumbing, electrics, things that I wouldn't have been able to do if I hadn't been on this scheme. So yeah, I've learned a lot. How do you feel about your house now? It's How do I feel about it? Um, I'm pleased that it's nearly all over and everything, but because I've put so much effort and time into it, I can't actually appreciate it right now because I'm just too, you know, because I've just put the work into it so you don't actually appreciate, I won't actually appreciate it till I've moved in and I can just look around and say, oh yeah, I've done this. Because we don't have to pay for the labour, but that means at the end of the scheme, you can have a low rent. Our rents turn out for a three bedroom house or a garden, £42 a week. And that, that's compared to new build, which is averaging about £76 a week. So at least, you know, you're saving, what, like, £22? No, that's, sorry, I can't add, £34 a week, you know, which actually saving. On top of that, if we build on time, which we're definitely going to do on, on our second scheme, if we build on time, then part of your rent goes to build up the fund, which is called a premium, the Labour premium. And after three or four years, each self builder will be entitled to about £10,000, you know, as, as a reward for their labour. So what that then entitles them to do is they can either leave the co-op and go and buy somewhere else if they want to, they can leave the co-op and go and another self board scheme and share down the shit, or you know, instead of co-op and use the money to improve their houses. You know, so I mean, the, the, that's there, but it, that's dependent on people building on time. You know, so, we're, so the discipline of the group has to be quite hard. And, you know, I mean, we have, we have arguments with people that might take it personally, but the bottom line is that we're here to build houses for people in housing need. Um, this has got to be all tiled, I will eventually tile all of these. Um, Are you going to do the tiling yourself? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. If, if you were living in, like, say you've got another council flat, is tiling something that you think you would ever have done? Well, no, I mean, I actually tiled my kitchen and that's the first time I've ever done tiling. And touch wood, I'm quite pleased with the way it came out. Well, let's look at how it came out. Can we show us how it came out? This is my tiling. Um, it took me about a week to do, which isn't too bad considering it was the first time that I'd done it. Um, all my units I chose myself, the tiles, everything, you know, in the kitchen, the colours, I chose myself. Mm -hmm. in terms of, in terms of structures that prevent people from achieving what they can. In this co-op, every single child sees that their parents can build a house, whether a single parent or you know a parent, couples together, they know that. So there's no there's no doubt within them that they can achieve what they want. They also brought up with other black people and see the whole gamut of black people that are here. We've got we've got a mechanic, we've got youth workers, we've got theatre, people in the theatre, we've got teachers, we've got you know, housing workers, the whole thing. 
So you know, there's no no two ways about it. They they can clearly see, you know, from from the day that they're actually living there, that things can be achieved. But the, the underlying thing is that they can be achieved when people work together, and that goes beyond the fact that they're race. That, that, tackle, that tackles the fact that the women are building as well. So that, you know, you look at the idea that women can't do things and they can. They're building housing. You, you're here now and see high quality housing that's been built. Thank you.